Today, we'll be playing a little game. I'm gonna be showing you two different ads and basically you'll take your guess of which ad scales. These are from some of our clients. So I do have all the data on them. These are all winning ads for our clients. So that being said, let's dive right into the game. So here's our first client that we have and basically you'll guess which ad scaled. So we have this one ad right here, kind of going off this offer, get three, three T's for the price of two. And then we have this other one right here, which is the Google. I don't know if you guys ever seen this creative format before, but it's just like basically Google and then you Google something and then you basically just like edit the photos to show your product right there. So I'll let you take a guess now, drop your comment below in the thing. Is it left or is it right? Which ad scaled? So if you guessed the left side, this was the ad that scaled. We did try a new offer for this particular client and uh, that new offer worked very well for us. I have the exact data. I'm not gonna show the exact data just for the client's privacy, but this was the ad that scaled for us over the last 30 days. So very solid ad, very easy to see what the offer is. And then we're also showcasing their best selling products. So basically make it more appealing right there. Yeah, solid offer. I think the only thing that I would fix here from my creative team is the code, use code free right here is very hard to see. I might put like a little white border down here just to make this pop a little bit more so people understand what's being sold. Now, next product, which ad scaled? We have the left side right here, the right side for right here. I'm not gonna read these out loud just for the sake of, you know, anyone that's blind watching this channel and, uh, <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> but which one scaled? I'll let you take your pick real quick. Left or right? Cool. And it was the right one. And this is a great example right here of how do you do a before and after where you can't really show a body part is just basically showing analogies, metaphors, types of things right here of other examples that's not that body part and this is just such a great example right here for after we're using a balloon in this example right here and i'll let your imagination just imagine this product for a second so you know that was very straightforward with that so let's go to the next one which ad scales we got the left side right here another before and after style then we have the other one where it's just like why this particular product right here both are pretty Pretty good creatives right here. Pretty straightforward, easy to see. All right, cool. If you guessed the left one, you are correct. Now, big thing about this one is that this particular creative right here, it's why black gold mushroom elixir. We're not calling out a desire, not calling a problem across the marketplace. We're calling out more product aware audience, which is a very small audience. So it doesn't really appeal to a lot of people. Now this one, one spoon of black gold and mushroom elixir, technically it's kind of the same thing, but we're showcasing more of that before, after we're showcasing the different benefits or problems they're experiencing and the benefits here. Also, this one's just a lot more like, like this one right here, it's clearly just jumping in your face. Here's the product. This one right here, it just this weird design technically is so we like traps people's attention and pulls people in. So that's the one scale. All right, cool. This one's a video ad. So I'll show you guys both of them, but I had to sell some videos in here for y'all, which ad scaled. So here's one of them. This is about 24 second long, just introducing a new new type of product here. Really the captions, I really want you guys to just be cautious about is just look how good the captions are. I love those captions. Um, it's constantly keeping your, uh, what I would say like your eyes in the spots of where people are looking at. And that's the key thing right there with captions. So that's one of them. Here's the other one. And you don't really need sound to listen to this. So just being transparent on that side. Cool. And that's it. So which one scale? Let's just take a, take a guess real quick before we move on. So the first one or the second one. Cool. If you guess the second one, you're correct. Now, I want to go over why real quick. Number one calls out a group of people. This is for my spooky girls who love anything weird, mysterious, and haunted. Whereas if you look at the other one, introducing the first ever round painting collection, they say, all right, like, look, it's just talking about the product. It's not talking about what we desire. Who are we as a person? What's some of our problems? It's not talking about any of that. It's just saying my product, my product, my product. 
That's all it is in that first hook. Whereas this one right here, it's showcasing the product, right? But it's also talking specifically to a group of people. Then it's introducing why they would love this product right here. So that's the big one. We're resonating with more people on this, which Facebook's gonna wanna spend more on. We'll have a lower frequency over a period of time and it's gonna drastically improve performance. So that's the big one right there. Now, I have some personal ads here for you guys. These are some creatives that has worked well, but for me, for my personal brand. So let me show you all two of these real quick. Here's the first one. Wait, let me do it like this. There we go. All right. And then second one, we went with an image ad. I'll show you all that. Cool. Now, I'll let y'all take the guess. Was it one or was it two that converted better? And if you guess number one, you were correct. So let's take a look at this real quick. So first things first, when I filmed this video, I showcased, uh, called out the desire of like a winning ad, right? And I'm showcasing what people are normally looking at as well. Like I'm, I'm showing people like, you're, you're already checking Triple Well a lot. All our clients are on Triple Well. All of my students are on Triple Well. So if you're not on Triple Well, you're just not my ideal customer anyway. So I'm showcasing something that they resonate with and what they want. I'm also kind of calling out some of the benefits, right? Drop CPA down to $18, tell a little story. And I'm leveraging curiosity here to get this document. I'm not talking about all the different tests and all these things, blah, 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 blah. That's boring. No one wants to listen to that. Instead, I'm leveraging curiosity here because they have no clue what this doc is, but they know that it helped them hit this, it helped this particular person at this goal. And then I'm showcasing the doc but I'm not talking about the doc, which it gives people a reason of like, shit, what is this? I have to have it. I want it. And that's what's driving people to convert. Whereas this one right here, you know, it's calling out something that may or may not people know about, which is, you know, creative testing. There's no relevancy to like day one or week four. Like no one's seen this type of screen before. You don't even get to see the document at all. So it's like, is it a video? Is it a photo or something like that? You have no fucking clue to be fair. And just didn't really work well. Guys, this video right here was filmed, just literally me filming like two or three clips while I was in the cigar lounge. Like you can literally see in the background right here, like I was at the cigar lounge when I filmed this video really quick. It took me like, I don't know, 20 seconds to toss that in and we're getting like dollar leads on this right here, which is crushing. So, but yeah, hope y'all enjoyed this video. I, I know it's kind of limited to the number of things I can show y'all just because we work with a lot of clients and stuff like that. And a lot of them are like in the air or like don't want their stuff posted on YouTube. So I did my best to be able to pull up these graphics, these videos and stuff for you guys, but I can happily try to do some more like this depending on what I get from clients. But yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you're looking to scale to, you know, seven figures a month, you're stuck at like six figures a month right now. Uh, we've helped four brands scale to seven figures a month now. We'd love to help you become the next one. If you want a group of other marketers that you can learn from, have me mentor you and just be able to nerd out on marketing, like marketing fundamentals and things like that, click the link below to have Nick Terrio mentor you. And then lastly, if you want a course on consumer psychology and how to build Facebook ad creatives that scale, then click the link below to Nick Terrio's Facebook ads course. Thank y'all for watching. Have a good rest of y'all day. Peace out.